Hey, what's up guys? Steven Asalanga here and you all know I do a lot of celebrity inspired hairstyles, haircuts. Uh, I got a special request for someone who's kind of like a pretty big YouTube personality, uh, Weekly Chris. And I looked this guy up and he's got a lot of followers, he's a cool kid and uh, he's got pretty cool hair. So I'm going to show you guys how to achieve the uh, Weekly Chris hairstyle and hey Chris man if you see this you know props to you man and hopefully you can share the video. Thanks man, let's get started. A lot of guys have a uh, the similar hairstyle to uh, Weekly Chris. So his is kind of like, you know, a little bit longer here, uh, probably about like, you know, an inch or so uh, throughout the back, a little bit longer in the front, and this is tapered out pretty short. So, you know, you might have seen this haircut a bunch of times, but um, he's got really good hair. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually buzz this down in through here, probably to about right here, just around the corners of the eyebrow. Then I'm gonna actually blend this up by hand uh, and do this in the back. So I'm probably gonna start out with maybe, I'd say like, a number three, three and a half guard, because sometimes in some of the pictures it's actually been a lot tighter, like a two or one. Um, but let's go with like a, I'd say like a two or three throughout the sides and the back here, and then we'll work this in by hand. Now the key to doing good at scissor over comb is really just letting the comb be your guide as far as the length goes. And you're just working up the head shape using just your thumb like this, okay? And this is a shear that's designed by Mizutani basically just for dry hair. Okay, as you can see, it's a larger blade here, and I'm just really using the comb, working my thumb in the blade uh, up the head shape, and the comb and the shears basically are working in sync as one. So you just wanna work up the head shape, follow the curves, uh, and this is where you do the blending in by hand so that it can uh, really take get rid of those lines. It can have a kind of a softer graduated uh, Blend from you know, obviously from shorter on the bottom working up to longer throughout the top So I'm just going to continue to do this uh, in this matter Blending in any pieces or any sections that might be a little bit longer. It needs to be blended in by hand If you do have you know a good clippers that usually does the work you can do it all with clippers, but I feel that blending everything in by hand after using any sort of clippers really is your best way uh, to blend things in and it actually grows out better too. And I think it has a much nicer, more natural look to it. So I'm just gonna continue this uh, just a little bit higher here. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually, actually gonna wet this down and start working this in throughout the top here uh, with the shears. All right, so now we are going to start working into the top with our shears. I just dampened the top of the head with a spray bottle. And now what I'm doing is I'm actually connecting everything like this by hand. So I'm working in where I left off with the shorter area in through here. This is basically connecting the back, top back of the head with the actual top and middle of the head. And now what we're gonna do is just really continue to follow the head and the length is determined by how long you really want it. So it looks like his hair was probably you know, somewhere about an inch or so, uh, maybe a little bit less on top, because he was able to, you know, some of the pictures you can see, he did have some hair up here, so he was able to style it. So you need to have a little bit of hair up here in order to have, you know, some sort of style where you can actually, you know, mess it up or spike it up. And that's basically the key to a lot of these hairstyles, is having enough hair on top to be able to style it, but nothing to where it's too, too long because if it's too long, then you aren't going to be able to, it's going to lay flat and heavy. But if it's too short, uh, you might not be able to get that, that volume that you're looking for. All right, now that we're ready to work into the top here in the back, we're going to basically start to work from the, this part forward. So again, this really depends on how long you want it, all right? The shorter you cut this, uh, you'll be able to still st style it and use some paste to get that kind of movement, but it's going to be shorter. And if it's too long, it's just going to weigh down. So you got to get it into a length where it's just right. And it looks like Weekly Chris, his was kind of a combination of, uh, you know, that where it's not too short, but it's also not too long, so we can spike it up. So uh, we're just gonna continue to work this section and the same pattern in through the front. Now the very, very front, he had it a little bit longer. And you do that again by just leaving the front a little bit by over-directing uh, slightly back. All right, not too long, but remember, the longer you hold the hair back or pull it back, the longer it's gonna be and the more uh, of the disconnection or 
it's separate, like the obvious, it's gonna be a lot longer. So you pull it way back here, it's all gonna fall forward. All right, so you just wanna bring it back a little bit, just so you have a little bit more length there. So I'm just gonna continue to keep doing this uh, until we get to the very front section here. All right, now we're ready for the very, very front. And I'm just gonna hold this straight up, over direct slightly back a little bit, so that you leave a little bit of length there right in the very, very front, okay? It's okay if you leave it, it's better to leave it longer than cut it too short. Okay, so follow this technique anytime you want to leave the hair a little bit longer in the front. Uh, probably leaving about, I'd say, two inches or so in the very front. Uh, and if we need to, we can come back in. All right, see that? And then we can style it and come back in a little bit, if we cut it a little shorter, if we need to, okay? So, which I probably think we are, we are going to. So what, what you like to do here in the front is just Pull it straight down, and I like to just chip into it like this. If you cut this front too, too short here, uh, remember, this will travel up, so this will be longer. So you gotta really be careful not to cut the very, very front too, too short, and always make sure that you work this back in through the whole style, okay? Because this very front piece will be shortest. That means this will be longer. So what I like to do is come back in this way, or I'm cutting now vertically, cutting back this way, this way it actually just connecting the two and blending them together. So you'd leave that, that length in through here, but it's also connected and blended in. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to actually work in the sides now. All right, we have to blend all this in through here, uh, which we can do by hand. So it's okay if you see some longer pieces, uh, it's totally fine because we're all gonna, we're gonna work that whole thing in, all right? so. Brush that out of the way. As you can see here, we have some blending here to do from here and through here. So what I like to do, again, we're doing scissor over comb, using just the thumb, and working our way up the head shape to where you can visually see that it's blended in, okay? The comb will, will basically show you, when you lift this out, you'll be able to see where this connects in, all right? And the more you continue to have a nice smooth motion and you keep it going. You don't want to stop, go slow, take chunks because you might end up cutting too much. But this is where you really want to keep the thumb moving pretty much at all times and use your, your comb as a guide, which, which always really, really works well. All right. So this side's done here. I'm going to go on this side now and do the same exact thing. All right, I think this is looking really, really good. And what I want to do now is actually dry this, all right? And then we're gonna go in and actually do some uh, texturizing and some dry cutting just to kind of break this up a little bit here to end, add a little more texture to it, uh, which is gonna help when you go to style the whole thing. All right, you see me do this a bunch of times. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is just go in with my regular shears first, and I'm literally just point cutting into the whole thing. Just be careful, you don't want to go too close to the scalp because you don't want to cut yourself and just make sure your other hand is out of the way if you're not really uh, experienced doing this. So you're just really pointing in, closing the shear when you pull away from the scalp, not when you dig in, you're not chopping into it this way, you're actually closing it as you pull out. This way you're protecting your client, you're protecting the scalp and your hands. All right, so this is just really breaking this up a little bit all right, that's the first one. Now the second one, I'm gonna be using my blending shears here, my thinning shears. This is also a great technique. You just simply go in, twist the hair, and I'd say from the mid shaft of the hair, it, up is where you're cutting. You don't wanna to go too low to the scalp because you will cut too much hair, and you don't wanna do that. You could also, you know, you don't wanna cut the scalp either. So what you really wanna do is just go in halfway up, twist it, and just, chop into it, all right? This is gonna give a lot, a lot of texture uh, and a lot of movement throughout this whole thing. All right, it also is great for blending in, like like this here on the sides, all right? This is, this is great for blending in any sort of scissor over comb. I always recommend doing this when you're doing men's hair cutting, is always go in with the shear, uh, the blending shear, because it does really, really soften up. If there are any lines, it does really soften up and it really does a great job of helping connect and blend everything uh, together. So I'm just gonna continue to do this throughout the head, make sure everything is nice and even and blended in, 
and then I will style it up and probably end up putting some uh, paste in these in this hairstyle. All right, I get this question all the time: Why use a paste over a gel? Well, a gel it's pretty simple. A gel is going to give you more of a wet look, and a paste is going to give you more of a dry look. It's really good for styles like this. So I got a good amount of paste here. All right, I like to use Tea Tree by Paul Mitchell for a good is a good paste uh, shaping cream. Uh, anything that really you know, has a kind of a dry, somewhat tacky feel to it. And I like to just kind of lightly start to work the product in like this. All right, then you work it into the front. Again, a lot of it's using the palm of your hands like this. And you really want to kind of get the product in the hair first. And then you can, you can mold it all in. Because once the product is in, then it's easier for you to then manipulate the hair and style it. So what I'm doing is, is really just getting the product in. You have to be a little bit rough with it. Don't be afraid to, to get it in there. And you know, doing little stuff like this is not gonna do anything. You really gotta work this in and really get this. Okay, look at that, see? See what it's doing? It's really, really working this uh, in nicely and bringing out the texture of the haircut. And uh, you know, a lot, a lot of guys, this is, this is really not only for Weekly Chris, his look, but this really, really works for you know, a lot, a lot of great hairstyles. This is a great style for men. Uh, you can wear this, you know, casually, you can wear it professionally, um, but I think it's really, really an awesome look. All right, I'm just gonna work this around here. See that? It brings out the texture in the haircut. Really brings it out nicely. All right, so this is kind of a good, you know, GQ look, a uh, good kind of edgy look. You can really do a lot with it, but um, Weekly Chris, uh, if you see this, man, this is for you, man. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, for all your support. Keep the requests coming. Actually, excuse me, Chris. Time for you to get out of the way, man. <laughs> but keep all those, all the requests coming. Uh, if you can help me get this out to him so, you, so we can see it. Chris, if you see this, man, uh, help tweet this at the salon guy. Uh, but let's try to get this out. But keep doing your thing, man. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.